My throat doesn't feel too bad today. It's a little bit, it's mostly on this side. It's like if I talk more then I can feel it, but it's not too bad. And I keep feeling like there's like a loose eyelash, but there's not. It's just a long one that's like, hey, I'm going to be opposite and fold the other direction so it's driving me nuts. I got my bank statement in the mail and I, this whole time I thought I had like $5 in my account. And the statement says that I only had like a dollar fifty three, and I'm like, what the crap? Where did the other money go? And I'm like panicking, until I realized that the five dollars that I thought was in there, I never transferred it. Well, no, that's not true because the five dollars that I did transfer was a long time ago, and it was before I got the eight gig flash drive to store my stuff on. So, and then the other five that I got wasn't ever actually transferred. Because I was, like, going to, and then I decided not to. But, yeah. Oh, good. I was like, oh, no, I thought somebody uh, signed off without me saying bye, but they didn't. Okay. Um, yeah. Last night before I went to bed, I recorded four pastas. Because I was like, ah, oh, not that tired, and the house is dead silent. There was one that I was going to do, but I have to shout for it. So I'm like, yeah, no. There's only like one line, one or two lines that I have to shout for it. I'm like, no, I can't. Excuse me. Um, I was like, no, I can't do that because everybody's asleep and I can't be shout sitting in here shouting, RPG, I dig it. Because they'd be like, WTF? Why are you waking us? <laughs> but yeah, so, yep, today's going to be another productive day. I'm going to make it so. Guys, why is your battery dying? Okay, I'll let you take a nap while I work on stoofs. And I'm gonna wake you up as soon as your battery's charged. So you better go take your nap now. Wakey, wakey, guys. It's time to get up. Hi, I had very strange dreams last night. I don't know if I told you guys about them. And now I can't remember anything. Did I ever tell you that I had a dream a few nights ago about Cedar Point? We went to go, Alex is with us in, in my dream, and we went to go on the Iron Dragon, and those of you who've been to Cedar Point know who that is. And... I don't know, it was just, it was weird, because... It was like... We went, the line was really long. But the ride was closed until 10.58 p.m. I don't know why. But it wasn't the Iron Dragon because you were sitting on top of the track, not hanging under it. And the tracks and the cars were blue and white. They weren't the red and yellow. But it wasn't the corkscrew because we didn't go upside down. And then it turned out that it was, like, fake. And then this... When we got off and we left and the sign said the Iron Dragon was closed down permanently. I don't know why. But, yeah. Um, it was really weird. And I had meant to tell you guys about it and I just forgot. And then this morning, I kept waking up and having odd, odd dreams. And I kept thinking, every time I woke up, I kept thinking, I should vlog that. I should rem re uh, talk about it before I forget it. But I always went back to sleep and I never spoke about it. So now I don't remember any of them. They were weird dreams, they weren't happy dreams, and they actually scared me. Um, oh, okay. There was a young girl who I was babysitting, and she invited me to stay the night, and her mom said it was fine, and we were upstairs. And I came out of her bathroom to go to her room, but there were weird noises. And I knew that upstairs, there was a couple, there was like, the bathroom, and there was like, storage cupboards, and it went in a circle, and then there were different, because it was like the playroom was like over there or something, and her room was across from the bathroom, and there were different doors. But there were really scary noises coming from around there. And I went to the right, because like I was looking at the bathroom door, I went to the right around there and I looked and there were a ton of mirrors. And I'm like, um, come look at this. Like I was calling the girl's mom, but I kept watching the mirrors, but she never came. And she said, no, it's fine. I know what's over there. And I'm like, no, there's a bunch of mirrors. And then she never came, 
But I didn't go down there, and then I was walking back to them, and she was, like, panicking, saying, Oh my god, there's a really tall guy behind you. And I didn't look behind me, because I knew who it was. And There was, like, a scary noise. So I went around, let's see, because there was, if I'm standing, the bathroom door is to my back, and her bedroom door is here. And you go around this way, and you can go down the stairs. But I looked around, and apparently the kitchen was over there or something, even though it was all on the top floor. And there was a guy standing there, and apparently it was the girl's dad. And he said something, and he was, like, talking to the mom. It was like I wasn't even technically there, but yet at the same time I was. And he pulled a knife from behind his back, and he started going after the mom. And I'm like, what the crap's going on? And I'm terrified. The girl, little girl, doesn't know what's going on. So I'm trying to save her. And I told her to hide somewhere. I think I told her to hide. I don't know if I told her to hide in her bedroom or in the closet. But I told her, do not make any noise whatsoever. I will find you when it's safe. The guy grabs his wife and slits her throat. And he's talking about something about, like, five seconds and you're gonna die because like you bleed out in five seconds or something and he throws her down the stairs and so I'm like he goes down after her and he's like beating her and it's been more than five seconds but she's still alive somehow unless he's just beating a dead corpse I don't know and I like peek down and he sees me and I run back up the stairs and he tries to come after me but I managed to get the knife from him and he's like trying to punch me and I managed to slit his throat and I kicked him down the stairs like he did to his wife and I remember seeing like under the door of the little girl's bedroom there was a small light that like flashed on and I knew that it was her and she was hiding but I didn't say anything to her about turning off the light so that her dad didn't find her but the dad would not die and I had to slit his throat again and he was saying something about well I'm Arabic so I'm not gonna die that easily or something and I wasn't really paying attention to what he was saying and I managed to kill him, but I couldn't find the little girl. And then I woke up and I was just terrified because there were like monsters running around up there. There were mirrors that would appear and then just disappear and weren't supposed to be there. There was like friggin' Slender Man was in there somewhere. And God only knows what else. Jeff could have been hiding in a closet. I don't know. But it was just, it terrified me. And I woke up and I was like, oh my God. And I wanted to like, say something. I wanted to like text somebody but I couldn't because my phone is dead and my f computer was shut off and I just it was just nuts. I didn't know what to do and I had a hard time trying to fall back asleep and when I did I didn't have much better of a dream but I don't remember what it was and I'm kind of glad that I did remember that messed up one because at least I can share it with you guys but it's just I don't know. I don't know why I have such messed up dreams, and I've always have. I mean, it doesn't bother me too much, but it still scared me a bit, and I didn't like it. And I didn't want to go back to sleep and have the same dream again. That's for sure. almost midnight and I'm gonna go to bed because I remembered it's Saturday and I have church in the morning. All day I've thought it's Thursday. Don't know why. Anyways, yeah. So, I hope you all have a wonderful night slash morning slash whatever it is wherever you are. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night. Good night. <laughs>
Our love will break through this maze. 